thank you Le Latino Professional Network, Ultimate, and Southwest Voter Registration Project for co-hosting this very, very important event. Thank you most of all for being leaders in the community, for being on the forefront of healthcare, for registering voters, for empowering the community. And thank you all for participating in the political process by coming here today. You know, I grew up in South Central LA on 62nd and Normandy. My mother was an immigrant who knew very little English when she came. Watching her work so hard made me really appreciate the struggles that immigrants go through. So when I was in Montreux Park and longtime residents scapegoated the new residents by pushing for English only on the signs and then passing a resolution saying that only English should be spoken in the city, well, I had to join the coalition and fight it. And because of that, we did defeat it. I ran for city council, and I made it my mission to bring together the people of the city. And I was so gratified when seven years later, we actually got the grand prize for innovation in addressing diversity by the League of California Cities. When Mr. Asuncion Valdivia then went to pick grapes in 105 degree temperatures in the vineyards of Delano, I was in the assembly and I'd heard about this. What happened was that he fell ill and management said that, uh, his, his, uh, that he should not be taken to the hospital but that instead his son should just drive him home. Well, the son had to watch his father die in the car of a preventable heat stroke at the age of 53. Mm. And so I decided to do a bill that would protect outdoor workers with things such as shade, water, and rest periods. And now workers are protected. When immigrants went into a car dealership, they were greeted by a salesperson who spoke to them in their own language. But when they went to sign the contract, it was all in English, so they couldn't understand the thing that was going on. And they were cheated. And so, I did a bill which said that if you negotiate for a contract in one language, the written contract must be in the same language. And now, immigrants are protected. When the Conservative State Board of Education wanted a one-size-fits-all mm -hmm. curriculum, I knew this would relegate the 1.6 million English learner students to a life of second-class citizenship. They would not be able to understand what was going on in the classroom. So I led a fight at the State Board of, Ed of Education for flexibility in the curriculum and for $30 million for English learning materials. And for my efforts, the California Association of Bilingual Educators honored me as their legislator of the year. Well, today we face the greatest challenge of all. Today we faced an economy where people are experiencing an enormous amount of pain, particularly those at the lower end of the ladder who are the first to be laid off. And I am running for Congress because I want to stop that pain. I have great fiscal experience that I want to bring to Congress. I was chair of the Appropriations Committee in the Assembly. I was a member of the Budget Conference Committee, which reconciled the $100 billion state budget uh, between the Senate version and the Assembly version. I am a member of the Board of Equalization, where we bring in $53 billion a year in revenue. And I was the author of the Tax Amnesty Bill, which was a two-month period for people to pay their taxes without penalty. It was supposed to bring in $300 million, but it actually brought in $4.3 billion and was the most successful tax amnesty in the nation in history. I want to make sure that the economic stimulus money goes to the people who need it, not to big fat bonuses for AIG executives. Mm -hmm. sure that if we invest monies, it goes to the place where we get the biggest bang for the buck, and that's education. And I want to make sure that if we have this money, we transform our economy into one with green jobs. I know 
that we can transform this economy, that we can give people access to the American dream if we are able to invest in the things that will make that happen, in Head Start, in Upward Bound, and if we pass the DREAM Act. Mm -hmm. I'm running for Congress because I do know that I have the experience necessary to effectively represent the people of the district. My roots are very, very deep in this district. I've taught the students of the district at East Los Angeles College for 13 years. I've been elected in this district nine times over 23 years, from school board to city council to <laughs> assembly and now to the Board of Equalization. I have a record of not just talking, but of getting things done. I want to represent you in Washington, D.C. I ask for your support.